myself Vikas Tiwari, PGT Biology from PG Senior Secondary School. I am here with my next topic for class 9th that is cell wall. Before cell wall, my topic was uh, plasma membrane. So after plasma membrane, next topic is cell wall. Cell wall is present in all type of cell that is plant cell, bacterial cell, except than animal cell. So especially cell wall is present in plant cell and in fungal cell and in case of bacterial cell it is absent in animal cell because in animal cell the outer membrane is called plasma membrane or cell membrane. So in animal cell cell wall is absent while in other cell like plant cell after that fungal cell and bacterial cell cell wall is present but their compositions are different so in case of plant cell wall is made up of different component in case of bacterial cell in case of fungal cell so there are different components of cell wall in different type of cell like plant fungi and in case of um, bacteria so here cell wall robert hook that is father of cytology discovered cell wall so who discovered cell wall so cell wall is discovered by robert hook we also know that robert hook is known as discoverer of cell and he is known as father of cytology cytology is a branch of science which deals about the study of structure and function of cell so in under cytology we discuss about or we study about cell their structure and their Function. So Robert Hook, father of cytology, discovered cell during the discovery of cell. So during the discovery of cell, Robert Hook discovered cell wall. Besides plasma membrane, another rigid outer covering is found in plant cell called cell wall. So where are cell wall is present? So besides plasma membrane or cell membrane, another rigid outer covering means it is rigid than plasma membrane and uh, it is the outer covering and found in plant cell called cell wall. The plant cell wall is mainly made by cellulose. So in plant cell, cell wall is made up of cellulose. This is very important question for all competitive examination as well as home examination. So the plant cell wall is made up of, so plant cell wall is made up of cellulose while in case of bacteria while in case of bacteria means in bacterial cell cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan peptidoglycan so in bacterial cell cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan while in fungal cell in fungal cell cell wall is made up of chitin so in plant cell cell wall is made up of cellulose cellulose is a type of carbohydrate after that in fungal cell cell wall is made up of chitin while in bacterial cell cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan or murine or murine so the composition of cell wall is different in bacterial cell that is made up of peptidoglycan in fungal cell chitin while in plant cell made up of cellulose the principal functions of the cell wall means if the cell wall is present in plant cell fungal cell bacterial cell so what is the major function of cell wall means why the cell wall is present if present then what is the main function of cell wall so first thing the principal functions of cell wall are protection it protect the plant cell as well as bacterial cell and fungal cell so it is the outer covering so it helps in the protection in mechanical support and maintenance of balance of intracellular osmotic pressure with that of the surrounding so what is the principal function of cell wall that is first number protection after protection mechanical support and maintenance of balance of intracellular osmotic pressure with the uh, with 
that of the surrounding. So cell wall is an outer protective covering of the plant cell, bacterial cell and animal cell. Now there are special characteristic features. So next is functions of cell wall. So we know that the main function of cell wall is protection of cell from outer injury. So it determines the shape of plant cell. So cell wall determines the shape of plant cells and it allows the transport of various substances in and out of cell. If any substance move from outside to inside or from inside to outside, so on that condition the cell wall allows the transport of various substances in and out of cell. So through cell wall the substances can move from inside to outside or from outside to inside. It protects the plasma membrane because after plasma membrane cell wall is present. So this is cell wall and after cell wall plasma membrane. So cell wall surround the plasma membrane. So it protect plasma membrane from an outer injury so it protect the plasma membrane and internal structure of cell so whatever the internal structure of cell so which is also protected by cell wall so cell wall protect plasma membrane as well as internal structure of cell my next topic is nucleus so next is nucleus we know that there are two types of cell on the basis of nature of nucleus first number prokaryotic cell prokaryotic cell are those type of cell in which the nucleus is not well developed so primitive nucleus is present and second is eukaryotic cell in eukaryotic cell the nucleus is well developed so the nucleus is present in all eukaryotic cells only it is not present or undeveloped in prokaryotic cell like bacteria cyanobacteria that is blue green algae so nucleus is commonly occur in all eukaryotic cell that is plant cell, animal cell, fungal cell so in all type of eukaryotic cell so in nucleus it is the largest and autonomous organelle of eukaryotic cells so what is nucleus? so nucleus is the largest and autonomous organelle of eukaryotic cell autonomous organelles means the nucleus contain DNA and DNA carry the parental character into uh, from one generation to the next generation means from parents to offspring and due to the presence of DNA DNA can replicate their number themselves on the basis of replication the nucleus can replicate their number so it is a type of autonomous organelle Robert Brown very important question for one mark who is known as discoverer of uh, nucleus and when so Robert Brown discovered the nucleus in 1831 so who discovered nucleus so Robert Brown discovered the nucleus in 1831 the nucleus carries the hereditary information of cells hereditary information in the character are information which is transmitted from parents to their offspring are progeny are individual so that type of informations are called hereditary information the parental characters only so the nucleus carries the hereditary information of cells so how the nucleus carry the parental character or the hereditary information from one generation to the next generation so we know that nucleus contain both DNA as well as RNA. DNA and RNA both are nucleic acid and DNA is responsible for transmission of parental character into offspring because in DNA genes are present and genes contain the hereditary information so it means that the nucleus with the help of DNA carry the hereditary information of cell from one generation to the next generation or from parents to offspring. It regulates all the cellular activities means all cellular activities means whole function of cell are regulated by nucleus. So nucleus is like a pillar of cell. So nucleus regulates all the cellular activities. 
now position of nucleus where are nucleus present in cell so nucleus in a young plant cell or animal cell the nucleus is centrally placed means it is present in the center of young plant cell as well as animal cell so they are centrally placed and called centric in position why it is called centric in position because the nucleus is present in young plant cell as well as in animal cell in the center of cell so due to the presence of in the center of cell it's it is called centric in position so what is the position of nucleus in young plant cell as well as in animal cell so it is centrally placed and called centric in position now next is occurrence so in case of occurrence means where are nucleus is present we know that uh, in bacterial cell as well as in cyanobacteria the nucleus is undeveloped means their nuclear membrane is not present because both bacteria and cyanobacteria are a type of prokaryotic cell so the nucleus is well developed in all eukaryotic cell so here in bacteria and cyanobacteria cyanobacteria that is blue green algae nucleus is without distinct nuclear membrane the nucleus is not well developed means their membrane means especially nuclear membrane is not present because the membrane of nucleus is called nuclear membrane but in eukaryotes the nucleus is well developed so in bacteria and cyanobacteria nucleus is without distinct nuclear membrane but in eukaryotes the nucleus is well developed and double membrane double membrane means two membrane two nuclear membranes are present in nucleus a structure except in mature rbc of members so in eukaryotes the nucleus is well developed and double membrane is structure except in mature rbc of mammals in red blood cell of mammals and in mature phloem especially in seed tube element of plant what is phloem so phloem is a type of vascular tissue or conducted conducting tissue which helps in the conduction of food material in plant so in phloem there are a special tube is present that is seed tube and in seed tube the nucleus is absent as well as in mature rbc of mammals next is structure of nucleus so this is the structure of nucleus in nucleus double membrane is present and this membrane is called nuclear membrane so nucleus surrounded by double membranes and that membranes are called nuclear membrane after that a another spherical shape structure is present inside nucleus this structure is called nucleolus after that a dense fluid means colorless fluid is present in nucleus this fluid is called nucleoplasm the fluid of cell is called cytoplasm and the fluid of nucleus is called nucleoplasm the fluid of mitochondria is called matrix the fluid of chloroplast is called stroma so here a colorless dense fluid is present that is nucleoplasm and after that many thread like structures are present inside nucleus that is called dna and in nucleolus a thread like structure that is rna is also present and one pore is present in nucleus that is nuclear pore nuclear pore helps in the conduction of substances from cytoplasm to nucleoplasm and from nucleoplasm to cytoplasm so in nucleus there are many structures are present at first nuclear membrane nucleolus nucleoplasm dna nuclear pore and through dna the nucleus carry parental character from one generation to next generation now about function now functions of nucleus the function of nucleus is very important for two marks that is what is the main function of nucleus so the nucleus plays a central role in cellular reproduction cellular reproduction is if the cell can replicate their number so on that condition so in that condition the nucleus helps 
in the cellular reproduction so the nucleus plays a center role in cellular reproduction means it helps in the production or in the formation of new cell from an old cell second thing the site of ribosome synthesis is nucleolus present in a nucleus inside nucleus nucleolus is present in nucleolus rna is present RNA also contain genes and that genes give the signal for protein synthesis. So it means that we know that ribosome is known as protein factory. Which cell organelle is called protein factory. So ribosome is known as protein factory. And inside nucleolus the RNA is present. RNA helps in the synthesis of protein. So here the nucleus is the main site for protein synthesis because ribosome synthesis is nucleolus present in a nucleus. Nucleolus is present inside nucleus and inside nucleolus there are the formation of ribosome synthesis. So the site of ribosome synthesis is nucleolus present in the nucleus and ribosome helps in protein synthesis and it is called protein factory. Next, nucleus transfers the hereditary characters from the parents to the offspring. Means all the parental character, especially hereditary character are transmitted through nucleus from parents to offspring. Next topic is cytoplasm. So next is cytoplasm. The term cytoplasm is used for the fluid contents inside the plasma membrane. Inside cell, a dead colorless fluid is present and that fluid is surrounded by plasma membrane or cell membrane and that fluid is called cytoplasm. It is present in all type of cell. Cytoplasm is present in all type of cell but their name is different that is the cytoplasm of mitochondria is called matrix. The cytoplasm of nucleus is called nucleoplasm. The cytoplasm of chloroplast is called stroma, while the cytoplasm of cell is called cytoplasm. So their name is different in mitochondria, it is called matrix. In chloroplast called stroma, while in nucleus it is called nucleoplasm. The cytoplasm is a jelly-like fluid. It is a jelly-like fluid, general mass of protoplasm excluding the nucleus. So what is cytoplasm? Cytoplasm is a jelly-like fluid and general mass of protoplasm excluding the nucleus. It is covered by plasma membrane. Means plasma membrane covered the cytoplasm, especially in cell, and contains the organelles. Many types of cell organelles are present in cell, that is mitochondria chloroplast, Golgi body, vacuoles, so all are contained by the cytoplasm. So cytoplasm contain all type of cell organelles. Now about their function. So last is functions of cytoplasm. So we know that cytoplasm contains many specialized cell organelles and each of these organelles performs a specific function for the cell means all the cell organelles are contained by cytoplasm or all the cell organelles are present in cytoplasm so cytoplasm is the main site for the place of cell organelles so it contains many specialized cell organelles and each of these organelles perform a specific function for the cell that is mitochondria chloroplast golgi body their functions are different and all their functions helps in the functions of whole cell it helps in exchange of materials between cell organelles means the materials are moved from cytoplasm to the cell organelle and from cell organelle to the cytoplasm so it is the medium of exchange of materials between cell organelles it helps in the formation of pseudopodia in amoeba there are no any fixed shape of amoeba so inside amoeba cytoplasm is present and due to the pressure of cytoplasm a finger-like extension or projection is formed and this finger-like projection is called pseudopodia. It is only formed due to the pressure which is exerted by cyto 
plus so it helps in the formation of pseudopodia in amoeba and in the movement of organelles because it is a type of fluid jelly like so all the organelles can move through cytoplasm and the main function and that function is very important for one marks so which uh, part of cell in amoeba is responsible for formation of pseudopodia or pseudopod how the pseudopodia are formed so pseudopodia are formed due to the help of cytoplasm and in my next video my next topic is cell organelles thank you